Look, when it comes to 2K, you know they're good for messing up builds. They're good for putting some cheese in the game that we're finding out later in the game. So 2K made the choice. Actually, Damian Lillard gave them the idea of putting six eight-point guards in NBA 2K21. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Does it sound kind of crazy? Does it sound wacky? Do you think this is literally going to be a good thing of having six eight guards? As we know, we have players like Penny Hardaway. We got Maggie Johnson and stuff like that. I can understand that. But look, if you ever, if you ever play any 2K game at point guard, you know it's not possible to make a point guard 6'8. In 2K16, there was no way to make a 6'8 guard. But we did have the 6'7 point guard build. Jay, if you don't know about that 6'7 point guard in 2K16, you wasn't hip. Everybody had the 6'2s and the 6'3s that can speed boost. But once it came upon everybody that 6'7s can speed boost and do the same thing, oh man. Six seven guards were crazy, but look, look, look. If you never played 2K17 or you just got into 2K, y'all know what 2K17 people was telling you make six three, six four, six five point guards. Yeah, those point guards was actually good, and you could get a six seven guard, but not a lot of people make six seven pure playmakers. But in the near future, we seen point fours come out the weirwood. Point fours. A 6.8.4, I think you could be up to 6.9 and maybe 2K17. A 6.7, 6.8, or 6.9.4 that can speed boost. But in NBA 2K18, bro, in 2K18, for actual small fours, you can have a 6.10.4 that can speed boost, literally play center, guard, whatever it wants to play. It was literally unstoppable. But for guards, you can make a 6-6 six, six play sharp, play shot, whatever you want to make, a pure play. On that game, it's actually dropped. 2K is like, okay, we're done with y'all. But 2K19, we went back to the 6-6 six, six guards. We had the 6-6 six, six guards. 2K is like, no, nah, we can't have y'all 6-7, y'all. Y'all seen that? It was too OP. It was too OP. A 6-7 guard was basically my play glass. It, my play glass was literally a 2K16 guard. Who would have known that a play glass would have been an old build? But Quick's first step made this build as it is. If this batch was not in the game, certain builds would not be able to do what they do. It would be much slower paced, and it would be certain builds that will not be able to speed boost off rep like that. As y'all know, you got to have an 86 ball control just to get the crazy curry behind the back, momentum crossover, all that stuff like that. And your movement is way better at with an 86 ball control. I noticed that. As you having a 77 and you get playmaking takeover or getting close to takeover, that plus 10 that you're getting is going to be crazy. But look, look, we're going to get into my player builder. And I'm about to show you guys why having a 6-8 build in NBA 2K21 will maybe be too toxic. Too toxic, but as long as 2K can level out. As you see these pie charts, the best pie chart I can say will be perfectly in 2K21 is a pure yellow, a yellow, red, and maybe a green a green yellow those might be the best three ones that's the mostly the ones that get used in nba 2k 20 but in 2k 21 this speed that you see right now this is at 63 so imagine if this is at 63 95 speed in 2k 21 it might be a little different you might say oh 64 or 65 might have a 95 speed but if you go up and up and up, you're going to know that your height is going to make your dunk higher or it's going to slow down your speed. And then you got to lower certain things. But that's the thing about 2K. Over the years, 2K takes things out. So if you bring up a new thing, something's going to be more OP. As we know, six taller guards in 2K 16 and 17, they was OP 18. But we noticed in 19 and 20, having a smaller guard is actually better. If you're a scorer and you're just trying to get buckets and you're just trying to run around screen, shoot a three, get a green and knock down a shot. Having a faster and smaller player actually helps out. But the thing about it, it lacks something in defense. As most of y'all know, if you got a smaller build, when you play defense or play corner, however you play, of course you're going to be faster. But knowing of the defensive stats of a 6'8 versus a 6'2, of course a 6'2 is going to have better lateral, but a 6'8 will be able to cover more people. That's one thing I can say, but it's going to be much slower. You will have to adjust to it. But all my point fours that's watching this video that has a 6'7.4 or 6'8, whatever height you have, y'all can tell me right now. When you play defense on a point four or a pure playmaker, you when y'all see them defensive stats, you're like, okay, this girl can do about everything. But why did not make a two-way slashing playmaker? That's one thing that should come to your head. If I'm about to have the same type of ball control 
why wouldn't I have Hall of Fame defense? I can dunk the ball the same because I don't have Hall of Fame finishing. And I have only 10 left. Actually, you only got seven less on your three-pointer based on how you make it. But look, as you see the heights go up and up and up, going to 6'5 to 6'6, it drops dramatically with the ball control. But if it's the same as last year or this year, 2K20, you might see that plus four to plus five attribute that you get when you hit 99, if that's still a thing in 2K21. But if it's not, I feel bad for certain builds because certain builds are not going to be able to do what they're supposed to do because we're so used to making builds to be, okay, I can get this build to 83 ball control and at 99.9, .9, I have an 88 or 87, something like that. But look, as you see, I have a 92 speed, a 92 speed. If you add plus nine, that's you're going to end up having a 99. Even though it's going to be over 99, you're going to have a 99. With that 91 acceleration, you're going to have 99. That's actually great. That's at 6'6". Six, six. So imagine if you go up two more inches, drop that down. You're going to have like an 88. But remember, you still can change the weight of the player. When you lower the weight of the player, of course, you're going to gain acceleration, stuff like that, and lose strength. So look, when you guys make these 6'8 point guards in a demo, make sure you guys look at other builds like the 6.5 the 6.3s that's why i would compare them builds too make a 6.3 the same build make a 6.5 the same build and then make a 6.8 the same build keep the little covers two away and then you go from the 6.5 to 6.8 and it's three inches away but messing that around i made a shooting guard version of what i just made that was a pure playmaker pie chart so now i'm on a shooting guard the shooting guard gets less attributes as y'all know i would make a 6.8 shooting guard than a 6.8 point guard the reason why is because the stats will not be dropping crazy. Even though my acceleration is dropping because I'm a shooting guard, my stats wouldn't drop really crazy because as being a shooting guard, of course you're gonna have less attributes, but the thing about it, it's gonna help you out more, even though you got less badges. Because if you see my pure playmaker, I have a shooting guard pure playmaker than the actual point guard pure playmaker, and that build is still crazy. So, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. So once you make a 6-8 tier play or a 6-8 two-way slashing playmaker, I'm telling you, the, the stats are going to drop dramatically, but you got to know how this game plays when 2K21 comes out. We won't know until a couple more days of how 2K21 comes out or plays out or rolls out. We might not like how the dribbling system is. We might not like how the shot is. The timing might be way, way not responsive compared to what PS5 is, but we just got to hope in the future that these builds will be better than what they are now. But we don't want to hope that a 6-8 will rule the park all the time. Nobody wants to play a 6-8 lineup of three 6-8s. You don't want to see a 6-8 guard or a 6-8 lock and a 6-8 center. I know you don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. It don't even seem like it would be a fun game anymore if you have literally six eights. But I'm not complaining. They can do whatever they want. They got their own play style. They want to test something out. But all the reason I will make a six eight is just for video purposes like making a Penny Hardaway video or Magic Johnson video. Those are the only type of ways, but y'all know how it is. I told y'all, a play glass that's six seven has great stats as a two-way slashing playmaker just with a lower ball control. The only thing that might change is the defensive stats. You having an 85 defensive stat or 89, as a center or a power forward, you're gonna end up having that 78, same as a regular point guard. So if y'all guys got information from this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, put on post notifications, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. My socials are in the description. And me and man Shamama, and I'm out, y'all.